Hey campers, it's Starbella from Union One Day Camp again. I am sitting here on my couch to show you how to make a friendship wheel and then you can do this while you're sitting here watching TV or while you're like in the back of the car on a road trip if you're going somewhere this summer. So, and you, I mean, you can take these little wheels anywhere. So, this is our example of how it's gonna look. And then it starts building your friendship bracelet like this, okay? And you'll notice there's one slot empty and I'll tell you about that in a second. So for this, you're gonna need a piece of cardboard. I am going to use my resources wisely and use an old Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie box. Everybody's got a Thin Mint box laying around, right? You're gonna need something that you can draw a circle from. So I've just got a cup out of the cupboard that I'm gonna to use to draw my circle. A pencil so that you can trace your circle. You'll need this to draw lines and on your circle and to measure your yarn or thread. Scissors, of course, to cut out your circle and to cut your yarn or thread. We recommend using um, embroidery floss that you would use for cross stitching or anything like that. Um, but today I'm going to show you using some yarn. You can also use yarn. Um, I've already got mine cut out over here. Uh, just because I thought it would be easier in the video for you guys to see the different colors yarn on my um, cardboard wheel. So let's get started. I'm going to move my stuff back out of my way here. Um, open it up. And you don't need a super big um, circle or anything like that. It doesn't need to be crazy or anything. It just needs to be, you know, kind of hand size. If you want it to be comfortable in your hand, you don't want it to be too small or too big. So I'm just gonna cut out my circle here. And see this way in this box, on the other side, you could do another one and you could make one for a friend and then show them how to do it. Narwhal is on the student council at Union Academy and we actually made what was it like 36 wheels or something like that for all of the student council members to start making friendship bracelets because they were going to give one to like every kid in the middle school this year and then we didn't get to do it and then corona happened so all right so i'm gonna throw that down over there so now i have a wheel oh look cute little girl scouts on the back so i'm going to and this doesn't have to be like perfect in the center or anything like that. I mean, you're gonna wanna try and make it kinda, sorta. Ooh, that's really bad, hold on. See, even Starbella makes boo-boos. So let's see. Let's go right, right about here, hopefully. Yeah, that looks way better. Still a little off, but that's okay. So you're gonna draw like a cross, and then you're gonna make it, you're basically making it look like a pizza or a piece of cake or pie, whichever your, is your favorite. All right, so you're gonna do that. And then you're gonna take your scissors. Uh-oh, hold on. All right, guys, we're gonna piece the video together. Sorry about that, Remy dog jumped in front of the video. So as you can see, I've got my pie, cake, pizza slices all cut up and ready to go, or drawn out and ready to go. And I'm going to cut, and I'm not gonna cut like a big slit, just, you know, a little teeny slit. So, so see, just that much. Okay, and we're gonna do that to all eight of them. see they all wiggle okay we're gonna use don't get don't cut yourself on this but you're gonna poke your hole right there in the middle it's just gonna be real easy you could use your pencil for this too just kind of wiggle 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 until it comes through and you don't want um, the hole to be too terribly big so there you go. Close those up. 
There you go. Now we've got all of our little slices cut. We've got our hole in the center. So I used my ruler and I cut like two feet. So one, oops, two, so see, okay. And then I'm gonna put my ruler back over there. I'm going to tie. I'm going, okay, let's do this. So I'm going to wrap them around, okay? And then I'm going to put it through the middle, okay? And I'm going to basically do that again, but I'm going to leave this little loop right here so that we can put the, um, so that's how you'll attach your bracelet to you later. So let me get it off my finger. And let's tighten this down. Okay, so now you have your little loop that you can put it through your other knot through later. Tight, tight, tight. So, uh, okay, I think, like I said, you want to get it super duper tight so that, because you don't want it sliding off. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to take all of these. I'm going to have to make mine just a little bit bigger because I'm using yarn. Just to get those through there. Alright, I got everybody but three. Use this and poke them through. There's the pink one. Now it's with its rims. And the blue and the green one. All right, now everybody's over here. All the friends are together again. All right. So now it should look like this. You should have your knot with your hole on the back side, and you should have all of your yarn through the other side. So you're gonna take each one of these pieces and put it through one of these slots. keep the blue and the green one away from each other for right now just so you guys can see the difference because they are kind of the same color family and my multicolored string is also looking a little yellow right now so all right so now you'll see again just like I showed you in the example we've got one that's empty so what you're gonna do is you're going to the empty one you're gonna count three one two and three you're gonna take that one out of that one and put it right there. You're going to rotate it and then one, two, three. And you're going to keep doing this. One, two, three. And you're going to notice underneath that your bracelet is going to start being, is going to start coming out the other side. So again, hold towards you. One, two, three. Hold towards me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know if you see, you can start to see it's coming out the other side, building itself up. One, two, three. And like I said, you can do this um, on the car ride if, if you don't get car sick and I mean if you're not looking at it you probably wouldn't get car sick to begin with you know like when you do when you're reading a book some people get car sick um, or when you're like say you're watching a movie and you just want something to do with your hands while you're watching a movie family movie night and friendship bracelet making time So you just keep doing this and you go round and round and every now and again you'll have to kind of get your strings from un, you know not being tangled so and I'll show you this again because you can see it's grown some more since the last time I showed you the hole is towards me one two three I'm gonna show you how to do this a couple more times and then we're gonna stop the video and I'll finish it and then we'll come back so that you can see 
you're going to want to pull down on that every now and again to take it. Sometimes it likes to kind of clump up, up on the top. So as you're rotating around, just make sure you keep it kind of coming down towards you. Like I said, the strings like to get tangled every now and again. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So this is really a very simple easy way to do a friendship bracelet and especially like you know, I know some of the like chevron designs and flowers and hearts and stuff like that if, if that's a little bit too much out there for you or you can't wrap your brain around those just yet you can still make them using these little friendship wheels and then like I was saying you can teach you can make multiple friendship wheels and you could have like your friends come over for like a slumber party or something and you could teach them you can, you know, make friendship wheels for everybody coming. And then you guys could sit there and make these and trade them at your sleepover. If you go camping with your Girl Scouts when all this Corona, COVID stuff is over, you could do this with your Girl Scout troop and y'all could all sit there and make them around the campfire or sitting in the tents one night before bedtime. And you guys could all trade them and then you would all know like hey we made these on our camping trip and that would be a cool Girl Scout memory to have so let me untangle this and let me show you guys now you guys can see it is coming out really good so you can see that there's a lot there already, so it's not gonna take too long to make. Okay, we're gonna stay with you for another minute or so. And then remember, this is pre-recorded, so if you feel like you've gotten lost or you don't remember what you're doing or what's going on, you can always pause, rewind, anything like that to get caught back up. If you'll notice, I'm taking it, you know, round and round, and it's kind of, it's, you know, kind of like I'm going counterclockwise, kind of, sort of, or am I going clockwise? That's kind of both, just depending on the way you look at it, I guess, so that doesn't really help. Sorry about that, guys. And then when you get really good at it, you won't even have to uh, turn the wheel, but I want to keep turning the wheel for you guys so that you guys see what I'm doing and go, that I'm going three each time. All right, so we are right there. And here is my bracelet so far those colors are pretty looking pretty together so I'm gonna finish this up and we'll come back and talk to you guys in a little bit okay and um, then you'll get to see how we finished off the bracelet we'll measure it to one of our wrists or ankles or something because you can make anklets like this too um, and then I'll show you how to finish it up so that you'll have a friendship bracelet so that you guys can wear them okay guys we'll see you back in a little bit all right guys welcome back it's Starbella again and I have got a very long friendship bracelet now you can see I still have one free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slowly take all of these off. We have measured it and it fits Narwhal and Stella's wrist. So then you're gonna take it off. Let me do that again. Okay, so now you've got it off. And you're going to just wrap it around and then the hole that you make you're gonna put the all of them through okay just your basic little knot there nothing super fancy and you're just gonna tie it down really good all right so now your knot down here will be stuck in there and then you can trim the edges if you want to, 
or if you want to leave these sticking, you know, you can trim them a little bit and you want to like hang like a bead or something off of them and, um, and attach it on there. Like if you put a couple beads on here, then you could tie this in a knot and then they could dangle. So you could do that. Or you can just trim them off. I'm going to trim them off with my scissors and my scissors disappeared. They're in the bag. Oh, they are. Sweet. Excuse me. So. I'm just going to trim them off and you don't want to trim them like super duper close because you don't want your knot coming apart so then you can um you can leave it just like that but just for like safety sake i am going to put a little dab of glue like your white school glue will do like elmer's glue just you know regular like all you're doing is just getting a little bit on there just to you, you can do the other side too i'll do that in just a second so let's just put the glue down right there for a second and you're just going to kind of smush your little ends together and the, well, all i used i just had some fabric glue sitting next to me so i just used that instead just kind of smush it all together you let it dry for a couple minutes and you're good to go then you can do the same thing on this side. Make sure to keep your little hole out of your way because you don't want to snip it and then not be able to wear your bracelet. That would kind of stink. Make it a keychain. There you go. If you did have a boo-boo, you could make it a keychain, Narwhal said. Come on, glue. I shouldn't have set it back up. It's all drained to the bottom. Come here, glue. Come out of the bottle. You know you want to come out of here. All right, I think I got some everywhere. Close that back up. I'm going to get that little bit on my finger so I can use it to dab around. I almost glued my thing to my board. That would have been silly. You could use hot glue too if you wanted to, or you could have your parents use hot glue. I should say, if you wanted to, but that kind of makes it harder. It's not like a soft knot, like white glue or this fabric glue makes it soft. It's not like a rock. And then, let me see, let me find my little hole here. All right, then Narwhal's gonna give me her wrist. I am going to slip this knot through, do, do, do. get it through all the little strings right there there we go yay and now she has a fancy dancy friendship bracelet with my sloth with her sloth tattoo <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this and like i said these are great um like the little friendship wheels they're great to take like in on a car ride um to you know uh, watch while you're watching tv uh, um they're so just, you know, why, when you go camping with all your Girl Scout buddies or having a sleepover, and they're super easy to make. So you can pre-make them and hand them out and all kinds of stuff. Um, so we hope you guys enjoyed the friendship bracelet wheel, and we will see you guys later.